So we come out today, we're going to try and mill up some uh, boards to build Kelsey a desk for her classroom. So we got the whole family. Right before we left, there was a gentleman that commented that well, he, you're not seeing that many videos of the family. Uh, yeah, it's mostly me falling timber. I try to video what I can. That seems interesting, but uh, you know we're pretty busy and not able to get out and cut as much firewood and have as much family time that what little family time we do have we like to enjoy to ourselves without a phone or camera in our face and uh yeah we've just been working and swimming that's about it haven't got to do much videos no been just puttering along getting all our paperwork in order and keeping everything ahead i'd like to thank everyone that donated to the donors choose you guys are amazing um like i was telling david it wouldn't have been possible without you guys and um i know david had said that tasman and them had said to, uh, to go and sponsor more teachers yes there is plenty of teachers on there from all over the country um yeah. and pick a classroom and donate i mean if you're thinking about doing something like that it goes straight to the kids and they make sure that it goes to the kids they look for photo updates and everything else so if you're wondering what my classroom is going to look like with the materials that those of you who did donate uh, got for our classroom, they will be up before November 21st is my deadline. So I'll get some pictures up so you guys can see what your kindness and generosity gave to my classroom. Yeah, so. we'll throw some video on the channel, obviously not of the kids or the, yeah. just of the stuff from the donation and stuff like that. Yes, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We greatly appreciate that. Um, it's going to help set up Kelsey's classroom and make try. She wants to make a big, big improvement on the children she'll be teaching and uh, make it feel homey. That's something that I don't want it to feel like a classroom that, you know, cookie cutter or anything. I want it to be an original, you know, something different that they can feel comfortable and happy with. And yeah. you guys, something that'll excite them to come yeah. to school. And maybe I'll do, we're going to go out and do some work on it Monday. So maybe I'll do a little photo play of what I got going in there but it's kind of a dumpster fire right now <laughs> yeah but. Kelsey will be going out cleaning her classroom and stuff and getting it ready for the new school year so with that being said thank you guys we appreciate you guys wish you good health and happiness we're gonna get to bucking this log up I'm gonna cut an eight foot section off of it I'm gonna use a 266 brought it just to mess around with so see if we can't get an eight foot section bucked off and rolled onto the road so we can do some milling so, tip from uh, Lumberjack Smokestack, he does milling, and I'm full, actually. He says, make sure you're full before you put it in your chainsaw mill. That way you're not fighting, pouring gas and oil in. I believe it's Josh that said that. I think so, because he's the only one I've watched lately that does chainsaw milling. If you guys haven't checked out Josh's channel, it's Lumberjack Smokestack. He's in Northern California. He does a lot of chainsaw milling, axe building, pretty much all the same stuff. Um, chainsaw, I said chainsaw milling, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm scatterbrained. It's a day off and I'm still running chainsaws. But I love chainsaws. And a gorgeous lady.
might look in that milk crate. If not, you can take these ones. No, I'll be fine. Well, be a Or the Ford, where we have some left in there. Watch yourself. Here. I'm just trying to be helpful when she's standing around. We're on the other side, so it don't roll on you. Okay. Don't walk in front of the logs and it's facing that way. In case it rolls on you. Okay. Do you want A little 266 is cutting good. So I cut this seven foot six. I have eight foot boards for the uh, jig I got set up. So we'll cut them seven six. That should be plenty. I'll cut a bunch of them for uh, Kelsey's uh, desk. So anyway, I'll, we'll get this bark peeled off and then we'll uh, set up the chainsaw mill. Okay, so I got these little brackets. You just screw them into the end of the log here, and then you set your two by four on here. But I'm gonna go ahead and level them up. That way I can level it up on that end. And uh, that way you know your two by fours are perfectly level. Oh, I guess I can flip that around. You wanna get some screws out of the there, Kelsey? Yep. Please and thank you. How many? Uh, two should be fine. Can we grab the gun for you? Uh, I got it. <laughs> I would try this out. Cut, and then you're good to go. And then you can set the depth on your Alaskan mill. And uh, start taking up boards. So we'll get the other end set up and then we'll bring you back. Okay, so again, I leveled up each of these brackets. That way, when you stick your boards in there, they sit level. Um, dang it, I never accounted for that. I'm gonna have to raise them brackets up. Let's see here. Okay, I initially had them in these holes and at the top of the bracket all the way down to where the corners were flush with the round of the log. Well, that's not gonna work because there's humps and stuff in the log. So I raised it up as far as I could and used these lower holes on the bracket to get the bracket up as far as I can. That way it clears the log, or the two by fours clear the log. From being a carpenter all this time, I always put the crown of the board up. I mean, there's, I looked out on these boards, there isn't much crown at all on these. Again, I just noticed I might need to throw a screw in the side of this. It's a little bit pricier, but it is worth the money, 100%. I love the coconut. There's actually coconut threads in it. Push it in there so the law or the this ain't gonna sit down. Just stick it in there. And just give it a tap. That way it keeps the board up versus pinching the
here. Ooh, that is gonna be gorgeous. Oh my goodness, wow. That is beautiful. That is why I like blue pine. That is Let me see that glow. phenomenal. Glow. Wow. Now, if some of you are wondering why I don't rock it back and forth like some people do, is I want all the saw marks going across the grain versus having a bunch of angled. The first sawmill I had, I did that. And uh, I, I didn't care for the rough sawn look with the angled saw marks. I like them straight across. Ooh, wow, that is going to be... I call that piece. <laughs> That's beautiful, honey. I don't know how well this camera is going to pick it up. It looks dark on camera. Dibs. <laughs> wow, that turned out nice. Uh, people were asking if I was going to use a ripping chain. I had ripping chain when I had my old sawmill, and I never noticed a difference. This is square hand file, and it hardly puts any gouges in this wood. I mean... I've seen bandsaw mills worse than this. Wow, I'm impressed with that. You guys! Uh, round file. When I had round file and I did this, the gouges were a lot deeper. I don't know why. Oh, maybe because that side cutter um, with the square file just makes it more smooth. But yeah, that is some gorgeous, gorgeous pine. Well, I'm going to get this milled up. I need to adjust that. I'm going to make two inch thick slabs, true two inch, and uh, start slabbing it off. Tear that off there. We'll probably do another one. We'll do as many as we can today. That's how my desk is going to look. That's going to be like the top of my desk. Yeah, how do you guys really like that blue color in there? Ooh, that's cool. Our table will kind of look like that too when we get... Yeah, we're going to build a kitchen table too, so some of these boards will probably go for that. Um... I don't know what it is. It's blued pine. I love the looks of blued pine. Kids having fun? Mm -hmm. Playing? You guys yep. should have brought your slingshots and BB guns. I don't have a slingshot. I don't have, I don't have a BB gun. Um, well, there's two pellet guns at the house, and I got a slingshot. And... You do? Next time we come, I'm still in the oh, Yeah, we'll have to grab some stuff for you guys to mess around with. But... We were messing around with our knives, and then we found grass. Oh, you guys <laughs> all brought your knives? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I forgot bug spray. See? We're fighting gnats. See, you guys are too sweet. They don't bother me that much. Just the <laughs> flies. Used to Just Whoa. the flies. The flies like stink. So. You're work See, dogs. Dogs. <laughs> what? Me and Brian killed those bugs. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah they grabbed oh, those. Oh, there was a big one that was staying right here, and I just hit it with a stick. And then oh. I me too. <laughs> I cut his head off my knife. All right. Well, I'm going to get cutting some more of this up. You guys go ahead and chill down there. That way you're not having to hear the loud saw. The, the horse farm was huge. It was like that big. Was it? Yeah. Alright, we're going to get this. Uh-uh. <laughs>
That's gorgeous. It's a little bit dusty still on the bottom side, but pretty good. Well, we're just about done with that log. I'm gonna get one more cut off of it. So we set it up on them two by four so I can get closer to the ground. But get one more cut. What do we got? Six boards here. So we'll have seven and then we're gonna take them round pieces and make something out of those as well. So that'll be enough for the tops on Kelsey's desk. And we'll make some other stuff out of it. Whatever we have left over. Eventually I'd like to come back up and mill a bunch of uh, three quarter or one inch pieces and line the whole inside of the saw shed. But <clears throat> it is time consuming with the chainsaw mill. I mean, it gets the job done, but it does get it hot. So I have to let it cool down quite a bit 266 is running great buck that pine log pretty easy can only imagine what it'd do if it was ported thanks to dave the guy i got that saw from he gave us a bunch of cherries and apricots he owns his own orchard in wenatchee washington and he was kind enough to send up cherries well he bought wood from us and then his buddy, who owns Apricot Orchard, bought wood from us. So thank you guys for the fruit. It's very Delicious. good. Very good. I had some this morning. And Kels was talking about maybe making some jam or jelly out of the apricots. i seen a wicked recipe for a cobbler, so that might be next. That sounds pretty yummy. Kels, we need jam. Okay, I watched a video on that too last night. <laughs> <laughs> We're both learning. Yep. Kelsey's been doing a lot of new recipes and turning out amazing. Uh, she made a pea salad up the other day that was amazing. It was alright. It wasn't my favorite. Like, no, it was. I got some improvements to do. It was good. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> Brantley, Gabriel? A book. Kins? A book. About today? I like it. Pretty good. good. I don't like where the heck kind of bugs are flying oh, around. The, yeah, they just the sharpen sticks. They just sharpen sticks and played. Yeah, I killed some bugs too. Surprised Gabriel doesn't want a shelf made. Okay. Uh, what? A shelf made. I did? No, I said I'm surprised you don't want one made. I already got one. Well, fine then. He's trying to survive. Alright, well, we're going to get one more cut off of this and get out here and get home. Well, we're all loaded up. We got seven boards and then the two, the top and the bottom pieces. We're going to make something out of those, maybe some shelves, most likely shelves. And uh, we're going to put these inside in our mud room so they don't dry out super fast. Uh, outside, I'm afraid if we left them out, they would just dry too quick and crack and then we would have firewood. <laughs> so we're gonna put them in our mud room, keep them cool, shaded, that way they dry out slowly. It's pretty dry, but there's a little bit of dampness in there. So. Super excited, can't wait to see the process and see it in person. He's explained it to me, but I think seeing it is a whole different story still. So. Yeah, we're gonna take in it's gonna have metal, a metal frame and stuff like that with a wood top. And then I think we were gonna do metal art around two sides and uh, see how that turns out. We'll see. There's a metal shop not too far from our house um, who I can have do some metal art, cut it out. And maybe we'll do something cool. We've all learned a little bit from this process. I know Brantley was asking how it was gonna work and what are we doing this weekend? I said, well, we're going to go try and mill some boards. So they all got to see the process and see that, see this piece of machinery in action. So it's been in the shop for over a year now. And so yeah. we're finally getting to it. Yeah, I kept saying, well, we're going to go mill. And then it seems like everything happens mm -hmm. or we don't get to make it out. And finally, I said, we're doing it. Last weekend, we were supposed to come out. And I said that on the live feed. I said, we're going milling this weekend. I'll end up working both days last weekend because I had to take off during the middle of the week for Brantley's appointments. And uh, so we made it a point to get out this morning. Yep, so. very excited. Again, thank you to all those for the donor shoes. Um, and if 
you weren't able to, so congratulations are enough, you know, just reaching out. It was on that website that I had to be the one to reach out, so I was like, well, who better people to ask than the most caring people on the internet, so. Yeah. Very awesome. You guys are an awesome group. Um, like I said, if you want to see updates on the classroom, there will be pictures up here soon. Uh, hopefully September or so, for sure. That's when I think everything will be in place and I'll feel comfortable with doing that. But yeah. overall, we're ready to rumble and going to have a good rest of our weekend. Be sure to stay hydrated. It's a hot one. I don't know if it's hot where everybody else is, but it's hot here. Yep. You guys like to say anything? Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> like. So, like. Comment. This is a little bit. Comment. Like, comment, share. share.